Welcome to day one. So let's talk about food for today. Uh, we recently set up some auto feeders. So all the dam in the farm are equipped by auto feeders. Before that, we needed to feed all the dam manually. So we have to count around 15 to 20 kilo a day per dam. So it's three hours of work. So now with the auto feeders, we can put 50 kilo of food inside which for last three or four weeks. So we make something totally custom with the auto feeder come first. We put the solar panel on the top, so we build all the frame, all the screw. So we had as well an external battery to run through the night if we need it. We open the auto feeders. We can see inside how many pallets we got. So we can hold until 50 kilo inside. And we have the control panel, or we can set up the hours, the feeding time, the feeding period, and the amount we need for this dam. So we have 38 auto feeder across the six dam. So every dam are different, so auto feeder are set up differently to fit the dam properly. To check if the maroon are still hungry, we can only put a trap net inside with some food. And if we catch a lot of maroon, that means they need a lot of food. If we don't trap a lot of maroon, that means they had fit properly and they didn't need the food inside the trap. We make our own custom palette. So we have some fish, some rice, and some fish oils. We wanted that the palettes don't dissolve too quickly and sinks to reach the bottom to fit the mound. So with the auto feeders, it will be very easier for us. We just have to refill them every two or three weeks. So we can save a lot of time to work on other projects on the dam.